All right, well, you guys have been pretty persistent on uh, wanting some HVAC videos, so I got my little head mount camera back out. And I'll start pumping some of them out. So I am on a uh, no cool right now. And when I got here at first, um, the outdoor unit, I went to it because I had to wait for the neighbor to show up. Outdoor unit's frozen all the way to the compressor. Compressor's a big old block of ice. <clears throat> and I found, so I turned that off already. Um, when I came into the house, I found the uh, this filter that was in here dirty. And luckily I had this filter on my truck, so I'm putting a new one in there. This is pretty dirty. Uh, the people that own this house are from Montana, so they don't really, they're not here that much. But you can still see through it somewhat. I don't think this is the cause of the problem, but who knows. So we're going to go up to the attic and see what's going on. Sounds like the motor's trying to run. Oh, that's a nice attic. Drop it into heat. Start melting that coil. That'll take a while. All right. Well, I'll come to you guys when uh, we get this coil thawed out. It's gonna be a while. This thing's really thick. This one was fun to track down, but we got it. So, I got it all unthawed. And then, once I did that, I changed the filter, I came out and did a run test of it, <clears throat> and my suction line, or my suction pressure was nose diving, like, it was almost like into a vacuum, then it would go to 10 PSI and whatnot. And my discharge temp uh, pressure was very low as well. So I was thinking undercharged at first, but it didn't really make sense because when I touched the liquid line, which typically, or yeah, the liquid line, which typically is a warm line, um, it was ice cold. <clears throat> so that was telling me I had a restriction somewhere. So I pulled this all apart. I disconnected the fan from all the electrical. That way I could work in here and not get my head chopped off. And I plugged the unit in, and all the pipes are really warm up until it gets to this inline dryer here. So it's warm on this side right here, but then going out to the line set where it gets cold so I have pressure drop between the in the with the dryer so I'm gonna pull the old dryer out put a new one in um, what I'm actually gonna do is just put a piece of pipe in here and then install a dryer outside on the line set because it's just easier so <clears throat> I'll switch in 
a pipe here and then uh, we'll put the uh, new liquid line dryer out here so I'm just recovering the refrigerant right now got a little bit more to go and then uh, we'll get to work on pulling out this old line dryer which looks like because I'm short I can barely reach so I'm gonna probably pull this panel out here and uh, work from the side right here so that's what we're gonna do right now So I'm going to flare this end, or swedge this end, I should say. Six pounds left in this thing. I'll let that run a little bit longer. Oh, yeah. One pound. Machine is all purged. And it's actually sucking air in. that I made right in here and that'll just put a solid piece in here and then we're gonna put the line dryer out here just like that
Alright, sorry guys, the camera was dead on this thing. But uh, it held its nitrogen just fine. Um, held the nitrogen just fine, pulled it into a vacuum, got it down to 460 some odd microns, and now I'm charging it with refrigerant. And then I'm gonna go take a temp split here in just a minute, but. And while this all equalizes here, let's go take a temp split real quick. Yeah, it's looking good. at 90 degrees here. Ninety degree return. Sixty-five. Like a twenty-four degree split right now. That's awesome. And I don't hear like the liquid line doesn't sound like it's starving at all. Sometimes when the systems are low you'll hear them going like with this so that is that That is that. This thing's a fucking piece of shit. Down to 93, so. Alright, oh, they wanted it set to 85. Alright. That's that, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out of here. I gotta go call the home caretaker person to come and lock it up, and I'm out of here. I hope you enjoyed um, another HVAC video. I'm gonna start rolling more of them out because these have been like requested. It's kind of funny. Um, and then I'll have an update for you guys sooner or later on an aquarium because I know that's what you guys are here for. And then maybe an update on the video or on the on the motorcycle, but nobody really seemed interested at all in the motorcycle stuff, so. That's why I haven't posted anything on the bike, but um, lots happened with the bike. There's a lot that's going to happen with the bike, but anyways, um, I'm going to clock out of this call, and then I am moving on to the next one. Later on. Thank you for watching.